welcome to my podcast. Um, well, I made it back, episode number two, so I'm quite pleased about that and I'm really, really happy to be here. Everybody was so kind um, about my first podcast and it really blew me away. I had so many encouraging, kind, just thoughtful, supportive messages email, on my blog, on Ravelry, on Instagram and um, honestly it blew me away and thank you so much. A million thank yous. I'm touched, I'm really really touched. So yes, thank you very much for that. Well, this is my podcast called So Sweet Violet and my name's Jules. Talking about my name, So Sweet Violet, um, I named my business about seven years ago now, So Sweet Violet, but looking back, I wish I'd have named it Stitch Sweet Violet. It would have, I think, worked better because I don't just sew. So you could stitch, knitting stitch, a crochet stitch, a sewing stitch, it would have been better. So I wish I'd have called myself Stitch Sweet Violet, but I didn't. And Uh, I can't really be bothered to go back and change all my business cards and my logo and everything. So I'm going to stay so sweet, Violet. So anyway, a bit about me. Um, I live in beautiful West Sussex with my family and our cute puppy, Mabel, who I did try and film a little bit of her earlier. Uh, It didn't go very well. She was a bit wound up, I think. She'd had a really exciting walk and I thought she'd be kind of all sort of kind of slinky and sleepy, but she was all, oh. So um, I tucked her in her pen for a nap and um, maybe later, you never know, I'll try and get a bit of film with her because she'd love to say hello and I'd love you to meet her. You can find me on Instagram, on Ravelry, on Etsy, on notonthehighstreet.com. Um, Pinterest, is that everywhere? Oh, and my blog, So Sweet Violet, which I'm kind of using for the hub of my podcast, really. I'm not so into Ravelry, although I love it. I've just not got round to kind of figuring it out. And I know lots of podcasters use Ravelry, and maybe I will in the future as my hub. But at the moment, if, you know, you want to leave me any comments or ask me any questions... Uh, my blog is the best place to zip along to and um, I'll put a link in the bar below my video on YouTube. Um, but it's so sweet, Violet at blogspot.com, I believe. So yes, so you can find me there. Um, since I podcast, I had a birthday and I'm now 45. Doesn't sound too bad, 45. I think... Um, 46 might be scarier because that's getting onto the other side of the 40s but I'm 45 so that's okay and I had a lovely birthday it was really calm and peaceful I woke up to a table of prezzies which is nice and some flowers Pete had made me a delicious fruit salad for my breakfast which is my breakfast of choice, always my breakfast of choice. And blackberries and raspberries and strawberries and peach, um, apple and pear, it was delicious. And um, I just basically, all I wanted for my birthday was a peaceful day at home, just to do exactly what I wanted. And that's what I got. I took Mabel for a lovely walk. Don't know where we went, but probably in the woods. We like going in the woods. And um, I just spent the day knitting and sewing and watching Outlander, which I adore, (laughs) apart from the torture scenes, which I don't adore. They just make my hands so sweaty. Oh, I hate torture scenes. But other than that, I love it. And I think the story is really magical. Kind of fairy tale. I love things like that. 
it's really it makes you makes your mind kind of think what you know what what could be possible all the things we don't know are possible anyway for my birthday I got well, I got this really sweet mug from George my son George and it's a flopsy bunny oh it's all the way around oh she's so pretty look she's got her little red cape oops and her pot of geraniums she's so sweet I love Beatrix Potter really do so he bought me this and um, I actually collect Emma Bridgewater baby mugs and I have a nice shelf in my kitchen and I swap them over kind of have summery mugs and then I have wintry mugs so this is this would do either actually but I kind of wish I'd have got a bigger mug shelf because I do seem to have a lot I collect them I have one from my 18th birthday I don't know when she first started making them but maybe next time I'll show you that one so yes, George bought me this, which is very sweet and I think really thoughtful for a boy to buy something like this. And in here I've got some uh, Neil's Yard Calming Tea and I think it's passion flower and lime. And it's very nice. I don't know if you can see inside the mug. Ooh, isn't it pretty? It's little, I'm not quite sure what leaf that is, and some strawberries. And it came in this gorgeous box. I love boxes, tins. Isn't that sweet? Little flopsy bunny all the way round. And there we go. So that was a lovely surprise. Really touched by that. Um, Bryony is making me an afternoon tea, which is really special. She bought me a lip balm as a gift on the day. And, um, I love lip balm. Lip balm, hand cream are always a winner with me. And uh, she's promised me an afternoon tea. So um, we've planned it for not this weekend, but the following weekend. So I'm really excited about that because I know she'll make yummy things. We have very similar taste in food, in most things really. So that's so nice to look forward to and such a thoughtful, kind thing to do. From Pete, I got some ooh, pajamas of my dreams, Liberty of London pajamas. I should have brought them down. They're so pretty. They feel really luxurious to wear, and they're yellow, pink, a little bit of green. The design's called Loden, and um, did I say they were Liberty? Yeah, I think I did. So they are beautiful and. Um, I feel a bit like a princess when I wear them. They're so nice. He also bought me this, which is, it's got a bit twisted actually in there, there we go, which is a silver 50 pence piece. And it actually comes out of the little Perspex display case. There we go. Look, I can show you. That's my notes reflecting in there. That's really funny. There's my phone. <laughs> There's me. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting carried away. <laughs> so, isn't that cute? And on the back is our wonderful Queen, Queen Elizabeth, who I think is incredible. So, that is very special, and I'll treasure that again. Beatrix Potter, can't go wrong. Um, he also gave me some money, which I love. Um, I didn't know what to spend it on. I didn't have, there's lots of things I'd like, but I wanted to spend it on something special. And as luck would have it, Molly from a homespun house, who actually, I love, seriously. She blew my mind. She posted a, um, a picture of me doing my podcast on a, her Instagram feed. Honestly, I nearly fell off my chair. Ooh, how exciting is that? Molly from a homespun house. She announced a Harry Potter yarn club, uh, which includes, um, I think it's Sucra Sucra Project Keeper? Project Keeper, is that a word? Yarn, Project Marker. 
Oh, what's the word? Stitch marker, progress keeper. <laughs> Sorry, um, with special progress keepers to go with it. So it's a three month subscription and uh, yeah, so that's going to extend my birthday. So that was that was also from Pete. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm not quite sure when the first one comes, but I shall be keeping an eye out for the postman, that's for sure. Um, and I got lots of smaller things, but they're the kind of the bigger things I wanted to share with you. And also from my gorgeous best friend, Angie, who I know is going to be watching this podcast because she watched it twice last time. Yes, she lives in Australia, it's very far away, and uh, she sent me um, a David Austin rose called The Poet's Wife. Yes, The Poet's Wife. It's beautiful, soft yellow, and it smells amazing. So thank you, Angie. It's sad we're so far away, but we, we text all the time. And it's so instant. She used to live, well, we both used to live in the same village and our children grew up together. And um, Bryony and her daughter, Catherine, they're the same age and um, went to school together and went to ballet and parties. And they're always staying around each other's houses, like my house and her house, obviously. And then she had Andrew and I had George who, were the best of friends they were inseparable and so cute together and Andrew always is our house and George was always at Andrew's house oh, it was so sweet I love those days they fill me with such joy and lovely memories and then she had Alice and um, I'm Alice's godmother or fairy godmother as she used to call me when she was little which is adorable I'd love to be a fairy godmother Perhaps I am. That would be so nice. <laughs> so yes, that's my best friend Angie. And um, I know you'll be watching this Angie today. Hello, lovely. <laughs> right, let's move on from all that gushy stuff. And I think I've... I think I said everything I'm supposed to have said looking at my notes. And um, I just want to say thank you also for all the birthday wishes that have been sent my way. Oh, they made my day. They're, I really appreciate them. I feel, honestly, you've made me feel so special and it's not something I'm used to feeling. So thank you very much. Okay, in the making. What is in the making? Yes, excuse me. Now, I mentioned last time on my podcast that I would like to, I'm not only podcast, which I find scary. I'd also like to knit a garment for myself and sew a garment for myself, which to other people might seem every day. To me, oh, I have a bit of blockage with things and I, I do find them really intimidating. But anyway, I decided for my birthday I was going to cast on a cardigan for myself. Unfortunately, it didn't quite happen because my needles didn't turn up. I couldn't get my gauge right and the needles I'd had ready, I only decided to do my um, swatch the day before, which was a mistake. So I then had to order a different size, which took a while to arrive. But anyway, I did start it. And um, I think I showed you last time which cardigan it is. It's the Celine cardigan. Really pretty. It looks pretty simple and I think probably is really simple. This is the Loops 10 book. And the pattern is actually by Pam Allen. And um, yeah, I for some reason had a bit of trouble with these these increases for the arms here and then they are simple actually and use stitch markers to mark where you need to increase and I don't quite know what happened but possibly watching Outlander that may be my problem because it is quite gripping at times anyway it's a bit of a joke because when I'm knitting on it 
every time Pete turns around and has a look at what I'm doing, he only ever sees me unpicking and he wonders why I'm even bothering. It's too much hassle, go and buy one. But I want to make one. So anyway, this is the colour. It's really pretty. I love this colour. This is where I've got to. This is the neck band here. Hang on. Like this. It's very scrunched up. And these are the increases for the sleeve. Let's see if I can put it on. I might get one side on. Yeah, there we go. I think it's going to be lovely. It's a little bump there. Annoying. There we go. So that's how far I've got. Um, I haven't dedicated much time to it recently because I'm doing other things, which I will show you later. So that's my Celine cardigan started. And the yarn is... I can't find the ball band. Oh, I found the ball band. There we go. Rowan Pure Wool Worsted. And the colour, it's not printed on here, but I believe the colour was called Splash. So yeah, that's that in my project bag. I made this from some leftover patches from the quilt that I made for my friend who's having a baby. Actually, no baby news yet, but she loved the quilt. <laughs> so that's that. Um, so, um, the garment that I'm sewing, I haven't stitched anything yet, but this is the top that I'm going to be making it's called the Alice top slash dress you can from the pattern you can make either um I think it's by Tasuti, but the link is on my blog post and it's a really pretty top it looks quite simple that's what I need so I've washed my fabric to solve any shrinkage, sh shrinkage problems later on so that's that. And I've cut out my pattern pieces, which are here already. So that's a bit of palaver, actually. I downloaded the pattern from their website and then I print it all out. I think it was something like 50 pages. I stuck them all together. It took me quite long and then cut them out. It's quite a palaver, actually. So anyway, I think that's the dull bit done so the next bit will be fun um am i making anything else oh yes i am i'm making more socks i'm making these sweet pea shoot socks they're really pretty look at the detail it looks like cable actually but they're kind of sweet pea shoots obviously. Um, the pattern is by Abby Morris who is very very sweet and after my first podcast she contacted me and said she'd like to give me a pattern, any pattern of hers and I was blown away. How kind, so kind. People are lovely you know. We have such a nice community. I wish crafters around the world. It would be a much happier kind of place I think. Anyway, so this is the yarn that I'm using. Just trying to get the right, oh, that's quite good. Um, it's a bit more green than that. I, I wanted to use something from my stash, which is not huge, but although my daughter thinks it's shockingly big, but it isn't really. She inspects it every time she comes home. She's like, have you bought something new? Generally, I haven't. But she just expects me to have been naughty and bought more. <laughs> anyway, the pattern um, itself is cuffed down. And I have knit cuffed down before. Uh, I think it was my... It was my monkey socks I knit cuffed down. But I don't really get on with 
we cuff down? So I did, I started it as the pattern suggested, cuff down. Nothing wrong with the pattern at all. It's me. <laughs> so it did, I just, my rib just goes baggy at the edges. It could be something to do with this cable because it's, it's really quite stiff. It's a chow goo, I think red lace. I love these needles though. So anyway, so I, I wasn't happy. So I unpicked it and started again, toe up. I haven't started the actual pattern, but I think looking at it, I don't think it will look really hugely different going toe up or cuff down. So I'm going toe up. I hope Abby doesn't mind. I hope you don't mind Abby, but the pattern is divine and I'm really excited to start that, which I've done, my toes done. So when I start knitting next time, it will be pattern which is really exciting and I'm knitting them as I said on my Chow Gu 2.5 no three oh I'm knitting I think I'm using the wrong size I'm knitting them on three millimeter oh I'm supposed to be using 2.5 might have to think about that such a pro the yarn is Lillipus Craft Designs and I bought it from Etsy. No colour, I'm afraid, which is sad because, oh, I do love a colour. I love a colour name. I'd love to have been like a paint colour name or a yarn colour name. I do love giving things a name. Anyway, so that is them. Um... And talking of that pattern, something so exciting happened when Abby emailed me and asked me if I would like one of her patterns gifted to me. She also asked if I'd like to give one away on my podcast. Uh, yes, please. So, um, yes. So if you'd like to win one of Abby's patterns which are gorgeous there's lots of socks and there's this gorgeous shawl which I'd love to make now I'm going to check my notes it's called wings of an autumn moth and it's so pretty I'd love to have a go at making that one day but she has lots of shawls um she has some boot cuffs socks hats and um you can choose any pattern you like and they'll be gifted to you. You'll win it. So that's so exciting. So to enter, all you need to do is go to my blog, so sweet Violet at blogspot.com. There'll be a link below on my YouTube and just leave a comment on my blog, making sure that I can contact you either quite often when you leave a comment on my blog I can email back because it leaves your email occasionally sometimes people are, are no reply bloggers so just be on the safe side if you could either leave me your email address if you know that I can't contact you through your comments so leave me your email address or your Ravelry name and um, I'll draw a winner on the morning of my next podcast I don't know when that will be, probably between two and three weeks, um, but it'll be a surprise. Thank you so much, Abby. It's an honour and I'm thrilled to be able to do a giveaway. And it's only my second podcast, so I hope I've done this all right. Um, and the winner will sort out for you to um, choose one of Abby's gorgeous patterns. So, yes, so head on over to my blog and leave me a comment, just any comment, hi, whatever. <laughs> just, it's always lovely to hear from you. I loved all my comments last time. I'd read them all and then I read them again. And um, oh, you guys are just lovely. So that was in the making and then the giveaway, finished things. So last time I was making my Get Me Not Socks, which I used the Atlantic Current pattern for. And I was knitting my monkey socks. Well, I finished them both. 
I said I would and I did. Yes. So let's show you. First up, I finished these. And all the details of all the yarn I um, did say on my last podcast. And also it's on my blog. There's a link to my Ravelry page where you can find all the details. But the yarn was Yantan Tethera. The pattern I used, the stitch pattern I used was Atlantic Current. And um, they're really lovely. So that's one on the blocker, one not on the blocker, just to prove I have two. There we go. And these are number six for my box of socks, box o oh, socks, <laughs> cow, uh, which the lovely Kristen from Yarngasm is hosting. So, uh, yes, I love them. They're really pretty. They're gorgeously soft. I must get some more of this lovely yarn. It's really pretty. So I did a whirlwind toe, a slip stitch heel, and a two by two rib. So they are very pretty. Hang them up there. Um, and, oh, I'm chuffed with these. My monkey socks, they look amazing when they're blocked, these. They really, I mean, they look good when they um, go off the needles, but they're a bit kind of crumped up. But look at that pattern. That's really nice. So again, I did um, a whirlwind toe, because I just love doing a whirlwind toe. Um, and I, other than that, I just followed the pattern completely. Um, except for the fact, let me show you this one. Oh, they're pretty. These are number seven for my Boxo Socks Knit Along. Knit along. The only thing I changed on this pattern was the needle size because uh, there was a choice of sizes. You cast on either 64 stitches or 80 stitches in the cuff. And I cast on 64 because I knew 80 would be too big. Well, I thought 80 would be too big. So I cast on 64 stitches and I, I probably got down to maybe here, you know, maybe here. And it was too tight. I couldn't, it did fit on my leg, but it was really pulling. So I decided that 80 would be too big which I think it would have been. So I went up, instead of a 2.25, I did some trialing and I ended up going up to a three millimeter needle. And that size is perfect for me. Um, it's maybe a, a looser knit, which I don't mind at all, actually having a looser knit. They're just softer, I guess. So yeah, that's the only change I made on those, but really pretty, I love them. So that is finished things. Oh, the yarn, did I tell you the yarn of this? No, the yarn for this is the Wool Kitchen She's Electric and I love this colour, pretty, pretty. There we go, so that's that. Okay, from my postie. From my postie, okay, well, first of all, I'm going to start off with, I think I need to drink, hang on a second. It's cold, never mind, I'll pretend it's iced tea. <laughs> um, another very sweet friend of mine, and um, she sent me the loveliest present. Look at this, some minis from Fine Fish Yarns. And Fine Fish Yarns each month have a different like bundle of minis and a different theme. Um, these are the Famous Five collection, Terry Pratchett collection. And, and they're so pretty. This one here, it's very autumny. I think this is gonna be gorgeous autumny colors lovely green. In fact, wouldn't that green have been great for my sweet pea shoot socks? I love this one. 
this kind of soft grey and violet and blue and kind of um, a pale grey and this one, this reminds me of chocolate. Looks a bit purple on the screen but it's actually more brown. It's gorgeous. And this one, wow that's zingy. Really pretty and I was so touched. You know when people know, just know what you like and it just There are no words sometimes, are there? But I'm thrilled, so thank you very much, Linda. I really love them. Also, I... It's quite yarny today. I don't think I bought that much. No, or maybe I did. This is gorgeous. Now, this is from... The name always confuses me. The name on here says Den of Yarniquity. Um... But it's from Felt Fusion. I think her den is where she dyes all her lovely yarns. And she had an Alice in Wonderland club. And it was just a one-off. And you don't know what you're getting, so it's a surprise, which that's pretty exciting. And this colourway is Dorothy. Oh, isn't it pretty? That gorgeous blue of her dress, and white and red and some brown. I love it. Do you think that's going to be self-striping? How do you tell if yarn is self-striping? I never know, unless it says self-striping on it, which this doesn't. Is there a way of telling? Maybe you could let me know. So yes, this is beautiful and merino and nylon. Gorgeous, I love it. So I'm looking forward to making something, socks definitely, with this. And whilst I ordered that, I thought, oh, I'll have a look at our minis. Have you ever seen anything so pretty? This top one is, let me double check, White Rabbit. Oh my goodness, I love that. And this one, Time for Tea. They're so nice. Oh, they're so nice. I love them. So, I think that's all my yarny from my post. Then. Yes, it is. Um, something else I wanted to show you is another club that I've joined. And it's funny, it's only recently I've kind of got into joining clubs. And it's really exciting getting a little treat in the post never quite know when they're coming so it's really exciting but um i joined alice caroline and she's an online seller of liberty of london fabrics so i was always going to like that really but she has a club called i think it's called liberty rainbow stars club and each month you can choose to have one two three four six pieces of fabric sent to you rainbow themed and you can either have fat eights which is what i chose and that's 15 pounds a month and i think that's pretty good actually because i never use i never use a huge amount of liberty it's kind of too special i think to you know use a ton of it you just use little bits i do anyway <laughs> So here we go, this is this month's fabrics. So I've just got a fat eighth of each one of six gorgeous Liberty fabrics for 15 pounds. So I'll show you them all. I don't know their names actually. It's this one, very pretty. And I do have another Liberty project on the go, which I'm gonna show you next time. Oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? And this one. Strangely, I don't think Liberty um, have that many greens in their fabric collection. This is super pretty. This is called Meadow. And pretty blue roses. Oh, that fabric just feels heavenly. And this one, which is super nice. It's kind of really bright yellow verging on lime. 
it's looking quite green but it, it's more yellow so that they're beautiful so I I'm in that club so that's really nice and um, I'm building up I mean I have got as you may be able to tell I have got quite a collection of Liberty but you know I'll always add to it always so that's my Liberty Stars Club by Alice Caroline and again I'll put a link um, on my blog all my show notes will be there and if I've forgotten to mention anything on here then refer to there because I probably have added something <laughs> useful there okay now are we getting there I think we are okay I'd like to say a few thank yous because as I've said before, I literally have been blown away. And I've already said thank you to Molly. But I can say thank you again because she's so sweet. Um, and Danny mentioned me on her podcast, which honestly, these are podcasts that I've watched and loved. And I feel like I know the ladies who do them. But obviously they don't know me or didn't know me and they're kind of on a pedestal you know so when they mention me it's like wow so Danny mentioned me on her podcast and also Sandra the lovely Sandra from Cherry Heart mentioned me on hers so I've had several times where I've been blown away and knocked off my chair <laughs> and also I've made a lovely new friend, well I count her as a friend, uh, her name is Julie, which actually is my name but I call myself Jules, and um, she, now let me think, her Instagram name is Julie Rose Sews, and her podcast is Sweet Sparrow Knits, go watch it, it is beautiful, her colours are well muted and delicious and she is like heavenly she's gorgeous and calm and beautiful and oh, I'd love to give her a big hug she's gorgeous so yes thank you to all those lovely ladies and also um sweet sparrow knits Julie dyes her own yarn and the colours are in fact, I've got some coming in the post. So that's really exciting. So yes, it has been very exciting. I hope I've not been rushing too much. I seem to remember saying that on my last podcast. But I feel I have so much to say. And I don't want to forget anything, so it's coming out really quickly. Okay, on to In My Shop. Um, I've been busy this month. Hmm, this two weeks, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Making some more project bags for my Etsy shop. Um, and I just want to say thank you to everybody who purchased one last time. I know I only had a couple left. Um, but it's so nice and I've had lots of people inquiring. And I love making project bags. And you know, before, before podcasts, I didn't know such thing existed as a project bag. I just had projects kind of willy-nilly in a drawer, in a cupboard, all over the place really. And when I thought about it, I thought, gosh, that's a really good idea. And um, so I thought I'd make some. And so um, that's what I did. I can't promise and I won't make um, a batch of project bags for every podcast or, or even every month because... I find if I do things over and over, I get a bit bored and it's it all should be fun. You know, if I'm not enjoying it, then I won't do it. So I'll always have something from my shop because I just love making things and it makes me happy. It won't always be project bags, but I am on a bit of a roll at the moment and have some cool ideas, I think. So anyway, this time I've got some Liberty of London party bird project bags um they have a little tassel let me take that off they have a little silk 
tassel, which is so pretty. Oh, it's so soft. Um, and on the front, they have little party bird already in her crown to go to her party. And on the back, a little feather. A lovely panel of Liberty fabric. And it's been quilted. Um, it has a box bottom. Inside, this one has a lovely green lining with my label. Um, it also has, I don't know if it's quite hard to show, this, uh, which is a little ring to put your stitch markers on and progress keepers so that you don't lose them in your bag. So it just unclips and clips back on, on a little loop. You can easily take that off, it comes off this linen loop. And it also has two pockets in there, a slightly bigger one and a smaller one. Um, let me put some yarn in there so we can see. So that's one skein. Um, I'll put this bundle in as well. So I'm guessing that's like two skeins. So I easily hold two skeins. Oops. There we go. Uh, lovely box bottom so it stands up. Ooh, sorry. So that's that colourway. I think I have two of those or maybe one of those. Um, I also have blue, so exactly the same, but in this lovely blue Liberty fabric with a blue tassel, blue zip, blue lining, and again the pockets and the little progress keeper holder, so that's blue. I also have them in this is Poppy and Daisy. Pink tassel, pink zip. There's a lovely sage green lining. Again, the same inside. So that's that one. This is my favourite. So I love Betsy. Can't beat Betsy. So this is Betsy in a gorgeous red and pink and pink lining and again the little doobie and this lovely peachy pepper one uh, there we go that doesn't show up very well that colour oh that's better there we go and this one's got a lovely peach zip peach lining and the same inside. I've mostly made two of each and I'll be listing them on Etsy. I just want to say that I don't think, even though I've done two of most of them, I think they're all slightly different. The lining may be a different colour and the zip may be a different colour, so just check that. Um, and also I have got the other one to this is a slightly smaller size because somehow I messed up my cutting and it turned out, I think, maybe a couple of centimetres smaller. So that will be a little bit um, cheaper than these ones. Oops. So I hope to have these in my shop tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Um, let's say two o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday, UK time. So that's Wednesday the 29th, I believe. Um, but I will post on Instagram when they're listed. So yes, that's what's in my shop this week. Um, well, I think I've covered everything. It's been lovely to be back. Really lovely. This weekend I've got to make a cricket tea not my favorite thing to do so i'll have lots of cakes and sandwiches to make but it's a beautiful ground i'll try and maybe either do some filming or take some photos but yes so I'll, on friday especially i'll be baking cakes and then on saturday i'll be furiously making 
four loaves of sandwiches. You can tell I'm excited about that, can't you? So yes, that's what's happening this weekend. And um, thank you for watching. <laughs>